All right, guys, we are back with round four, Edison format, Epic Cards of the Games in Hearst, Texas. We have Julio on the left playing Machina Gadgets versus Joey Lynch on the right playing uh, Machina Turbo or Machina Hamster Ryko Pot Average deck. Uh, Julio's X2, so he has no shot to make top four, but Joey Lynch does. He is X1, but I wanted to get this matchup because the it's not many people play Gadgets in my locals or Machina, the Machina Hamster deck. So, yeah, I always try to get variety on the channel. Otherwise, it'd be just, it, we'd just be overwhelmed with Black Wings and Bayou. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Lynch, maybe set a hamster or Ryko to try and deal with that back row. Okay, so Julio's on Compulse. So these two are regulars on the channel. Even though Joe Lynch kind of took a break from medicine, but he's playing Retro Yu-Gi-Oh again. He's got about six wins on the channel while Julio is still trying to get that first. But he's got a few second places. I think... Yeah, he's got three second places. So here, Lynch grabs Ryko from his deck. All right, what else? He's got Fortress. So he keeps the Compulse in his hand. And let's see. We haven't seen any gadgets from Julio yet. So he flips Ryko, targets the gear frame. Mills Ryko, Fortress, and Plague. I think Lynch is on three pot avers. I know he's he's changed his deck a lot. As everyone does. Everyone's always tweaking their decks in between tournaments. Okay, posting for 13. So 67, 8,000. Ooh, Julio's on solidarity too in this machina, in this gadget deck. I think Julio told me he's on six gadgets, so he just drew solemn. It's funny because I talk, I've, I've talked about gadgets in the past, and I think maybe seven gadgets is okay. Is okay. Like, you play three of the biggest one. Because I, I feel when you play nine gadgets, they get so cloggy. Like, you're going to draw two or three gadgets a lot. But here, and you also play three gear frame. All right, so Lynch summons Lila. Does Julio does have the Torrential? Does Lynch have Star Road? No, no Solemn. So we're 54 AK. I, I smell a pot of avarice. <laughs> does he have five monsters? One, two. He has six. So no, he does not have pot of avarice. So here Julio pitches fortress, special summon fortress. Here comes bottomless. Will Julio solemn? Does he need? He has compulse, right? Does he have another machine he can, he can pitch? Oh no, he has force, right? If he has force, you can just let it go through, and then MS potentially MST the back row. Oh, no, I think you MST, though. You can MST now that the summon went through. Okay. Oh, no, he doesn't MST. Uh, no, see, I would have MST'd right there. I think he has MST. Because now you're kind of forced to solemn this. Dang. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Julio, no. <laughs> yeah, I think he should have. He should have MST. I would have MST before because, like, I get it. Lynch could chain MST, but let's say it's not MST. Then you still have Solemn. Com he could also Compulse, right? He has Compulse. No. I think he could have Compulse the chaining the bottomless. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I think it's fine, but I probably would have uh, seen that. Oh, no. This, yeah, this is you're getting punished bad. That's um, That's so unfortunate. Oh, no. Yep, yep. So, trigger, gear frame, and Julio concedes. Yeah, probably Julio knows he messed up. He should have mst Um, Maybe he could have chained Compose, but... Yeah, you gotta hold that Solemn to protect those back rows, especially on Solidarity. All right, so Lynch takes game one. One went away from getting to another top cut. We'll see. Or will Julio pull off the back door 2-0? So he summons gear from... Did he search Force or Fortress? So this game, Julio opened no back rowers. Game one, he opened, like, all of them. All right. This is why I tell people about why Hamster is so good. Like, even Gad, uh, this Machina, like, gear frame can't run over Hamster. And with Black Wings, they have to waste the collude on it. 
which is which is great. So here comes gear frame. Gear frame search force. If only XYZs were out. I've been playing a little bit of hat, so. <laughs> okay, so gear frame attacks into hamster. Get Ryko from his deck. Attacks the Ryko. This is not bad. I mean, you're popping a, a Stratos, essentially, and then now Lynch is going to mill three. Mills dust, force, and yada. So I'm surprised Lynch is on Yada over Upstart. I think it's the the reason people like Yada over Upstart is because you can get and gain value out of it if your opponent like Icarus is it, or MSTs it, or Heavy Storms it. But at the same time, it can be a little slow. Sometimes you need you just need to Upstart into your Black Whirlwind if you're playing Black Wings. Okay, so here Julio pitches Fortress to special summon Fortress. We know he has a Force in his hand. So he attacks D prison. Yep. All right. So now what well, he's got pulling the rug. Soul release. Pot of avarice. Heavy. <laughs> oh man, two games in a row. Gear frame. Yeah, so some of you guys may know we started hat at my hat format on my locals and I miss Heavy Storm because <laughs> having to grind through four or five back rows is not, it's not the, it's not, it can be annoying at times. <laughs> okay, so. So, Lynch passes, so we're at, both players are at 8,000. So Julio has the force to out the the hamster. So he summons uh what's that card's name? I forgot the name of that card. I know it's like a foolish. And then you can return two earth monsters to draw a card. Yeah, so he foolishes Fortress, returns two and is gonna draw a card. Yeah, I forgot the name of this dang card. <laughs> Scrap Recycler. There we go. That's that's the name. So here he pitches Force for Fortress. What's Peace? Or Scrap Recycler's attack. So 71, 8K. He has Avarice. So he's still not using the Soul Release. What's the, Okay, so he has a Force, Avarice, Soul Release, and one Trap card. Oh, Cyber Dragon. Okay, he had the out. Oh, he had both Cyber Dragons. I'd be upset. <laughs> wow, he opened both his Cyber Dragons, and that Cyber Dragon is at 3K. That's so unfortunate. And now here comes Avarice. Oh, no, Julio didn't use the, the Soul Release. Oh, no. Maybe he was trying to hold. He was probably holding it. Was there a Fortress in there? Oh, no. Yeah, I should have played that Avarice. Should have play, played it because, like, Especially, you know, probably most likely Lynch is on three Avarice. And here comes Gear Frame. Is that game? Is that 7,300 damage? 25, 33, 43. Oh, yeah, that is game. Oh, that's more than game. And, yep. Yeah. yeah, not using that solo release was huge. So, Lynch is moving on to top four. We'll see if he can get another win on the channel. Julio, Julio was out anyway, so I think he was kind of like, you know, whatever. He was X2. Uh, he was basically just trying to knock Joey Lynch out of top cut. Maybe he would have given them. So a lot of times some people will give the other person the win. They're like, I have no shot. I'll just give you the win. But they played for the camera, so I appreciate it. Anyways, we'll be back soon for top four. Bye, guys.